I got bangs. <laughs> I've never had bangs before. I've been thinking about it for months and I had a lot of anxiety leading up to it. Hair change is really, really hard for me. But I knew I would regret not trying in case it ends up being my favorite. Um, I got my hair trimmed. It's still long, but it feels really, really short to me. There was probably like at least six inches taken off. It was so long before. Um, but yeah, um, it's been a long day. It's late. I'm in my pajamas and I'm ready for bed, but I really wanted to just show you the bangs because this might be the best they ever look. I don't know what I'm doing with them. I don't own a blow dryer or any sort of heat styling tools. I don't really know anything about styling hair, but I'm gonna do my best with them and it's gonna be fun and maybe they'll stick around, maybe it'll be a phase, but I needed a change and I'm proud of myself for going through it. So with that said, I'm going to snuggle up with Frank, try to get a good sleep, and then we're gonna go on an adventure. So I'll be bringing you along. All right, hello. I am so happy to be in my hammock in the woods somewhere where there's no rules or people around or anything and just um, kick back and relax for a bit with Frank. Uh, I've actually chosen to camp somewhere where there's no phone service because I have a lot of work to do, a lot of editing in particular. Um, and I need to limit distractions. And so yeah, but before I do any um, computer work. I've just decided to set up the hammock. I got my planner journal, weekly journal thing, and I'm gonna just uh, take some time to kind of get my mind and plan around the next month in order. Yeah, I just have a few days left in Squamish. I have another quick trip to the island. Um, Frank has his final x-ray, and then we're gonna be starting north. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, I just want to make sure I got all my ducks in order. It's a lot easier if you only have two ducks, then they're always in a row, but unfortunately I have like what feels like dozens of ducks, <laughs> and I have uh, things scheduled, like some van maintenance, uh, very, very important van maintenance at the shop for my front end, uh, which is not doing great right now in the suspension, but... Yeah, everything's going to be fine, and I'm pretty sure by the time early April comes and I get on the road, everything will be good, but I think careful planning and making to-do lists so that I don't forget things will be helpful.
it suddenly got very cold and I got very hungry, so it's time to make some food. All right, so what this is, is some fried udon noodle and uh, this like, these things are jackfruit, uh, pressed jackfruit with seasoning. Um, it's supposed to be like ribs, but it's just jackfruit. <laughs> and then I put some large flake salt on it. Yeah, that's tasty <laughs> and hot really hot um, but yeah it's clouded over it's gotten quite cold um, so I think after I eat this I'm gonna bring Frank inside and get cozy and settle into editing for the rest of today mm. Right, hello from slightly future Amanda. My bangs are just a little bit longer. Coming up in this video, I have like a whole bunch of different little life updates, some like normal stuff, some happy stuff, and some unfortunate events. Um, like the story that includes why I had to buy a new fire extinguisher. Yeah, that sucked. Um, anyways, before I get into all of that, I wanted to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, who is Element. As you know, I'm a huge fan of Drink Element. It is a super, super tasty electrolyte mix. I've been um, giving some to friends and stuff, and it's always really fun to hear their response about how great it tastes, especially when their favorite flavor ends up being my favorite flavor, which is watermelon, by the way. Uh, but this is an 18 ounce bottle, and this is a 40 ounce bottle, and I will make it in either, depending on how salty I'm craving. Element has a science-backed blend of electrolytes, and none of the other stuff you absolutely don't need in an electrolyte drink mix, such as artificial flavors, artificial colors, gluten, corn, soy, or any filler or things like that. Just the electrolytes you need to replenish when you sweat, because when you sweat, you lose electrolytes. And electrolytes are essential for a whole bunch of different roles in the body. It's really, really important to replenish them. I definitely notice I feel a lot better when I stay properly hydrated with enough water and quality water that includes electrolytes. I have way less headaches, way less cramping, and I just feel a little better overall. So if you would like to give Element a try, go to drinklmnt.com slash Tideline to Alpine and make any purchase. When you do that, you're going to get a sample pack, which includes all eight flavors. So you can see which one you'd like to try next or just share with a friend. And the sample pack is something you can get with every single purchase. So each time you make a purchase from Element, go to drinklmnt.com slash Tideline to Alpine. Use the link. You'll get the sample pack every single purchase, no matter how many times you shop from Element. Element is a part of my daily routine and they also have great customer service. So if you happen to give it a try and not like it, they do have a no hassle money back guarantee. So thanks again to Element for sponsoring this video and let's get back to my updates. All right, good morning. One of the first things I do every morning is I put Frank outside and I make the bed. If it's raining or it's not somewhere good to put Frank, then I just work around him. But um, yeah, I like to start the day with the bed made. Especially before Frank's going in and out. Um, 
and it's usually not much work. The blankets usually like hold together pretty well. Last night Frank came under the blanket, so it's like a little bit messier than normal, but not bad. So what I noticed is after a few days of just quickly remaking the bed like this, the blankets kind of shift, especially the sheets shift upwards. So maybe like once a week or something, I just actually take out and start from scratch um, and build it up one sheet or blanket at a time. But for the most part, I just, I just straighten everything. I slept amazing. Being here by the river, being so quiet, the only noise was the river and uh, no phone service or vehicles or anything. So it was, it was right exactly what I needed. Uh, now I just have water on to boil to make some coffee, drinking my AG1 and just going to enjoy a slow morning here before getting on the road and heading back down to Squamish. Um, and just yeah doing chores uploading that kind of stuff so it was a short trip here I would you know be pretty happy to stay longer I could probably like stay a week here and be content but I have a lot of life planned so one night we'll have to do all right hello day four with bangs uh, I woke up this morning and they were like straight up and my hair's a little greasy so I just put a hat on is what I normally do when my hair is greasy but I think it's pretty cute just learning not to look at myself in the viewfinder and look at you but yeah I got back to Squamish yesterday it was a really nice drive it was beautiful weather to do the drive and I got through Whistler early enough I didn't have post ski traffic so yeah that was great and then I realized when I got back to Squamish that my anxiety was like really going up and I'm definitely um, done with my season here. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I love Squamish, but once it starts to get busy, like I'm, I, I gotta go. So, uh, yeah, I'm feeling really ready to be hitting the road, uh, emotionally, but I'm not actually ready, ready. <laughs> I have quite a few things to do. Um, although I think I have like 10 days and I'll be like permanently on the road north. So today, um, I hung out with a patron. Um, Shireen came and she came up from the US and we went to the donut shop and we had donuts and we got Frank a donut and then we took Frank for a walk and I'm just having some alone time now and then we're gonna do a campfire. <laughs> I was trying to remember why I picked up the camera to begin with before I said all those things and that was out on our walk today I picked a whole bunch of uh, fiddleheads there we go uh, so I think tonight, if the rain holds off during our fire, what I'll do is I'll just boil them for a bit and then maybe fry them over the fire. So that could be a nice thing to do. Oh. What do you think? They're delicious. Yeah. <laughs> what's, more, what's more incredible is that all we were doing was just going for a walk. Yeah. And here you are foraging <laughs> and picking up something that we can actually bring back and cook and enjoy. They're yeah. delicious. By our nice fire. Mm -hmm. With Frankie. All right, hello. Uh, we are hanging around outside the mechanic. We're just waiting for our turn in the shop. Unfortunately, both of my upper ball joints are completely shot. So we're going to be getting some repairs to help us prevent um, an absolute disaster on a back road sometime this summer. So yeah, it sucks spending the time to go in the shop when I have a lot to do. Kind of have to dedicate the whole day to it. Um, and it sucks spending the money, but <laughs> that's just, that's just living in a vehicle and it's, it's still way cheaper than rent. And then tomorrow I have to take Frank into the vet to get his foot wrapped up again. I'm um, having a bit of a hard time with that. Um, just trying not to cry, 
but um, yeah, the bottom of his scar came open a couple weeks ago and I keep tending to it and wrapping it up and it's not only is it not getting better, but it just keeps getting worse. It just keeps being a bigger and bigger open area. And yeah, I'm quite honestly at my wits end about like nursing his feet. Uh, I have been nursing his feet since August. <laughs> so yeah, but he's happy. He's having a good time. So yeah, I just try to focus on that, and, uh, yeah, just, yeah, I can't, like, wish it away, so I just have to suck it up and deal with it, um, but, yeah, it's, um, I wish I could take him today, but I can't, because we're waiting at the shop to get Chuck looked after, and I'm just still running low on sleep, so these are my shoes <laughs> that I wear all the time. And they are just like completely polished smooth on the front. I've been wearing them in as my main pair of shoes for like five years now. They have like over 10,000 kilometers on. There's no padding in the backs. So they're just raw. They're completely packed out. They have holes right through them. They're in the most horrific shape. And um, it just has not been... A priority to spend money on new shoes for myself apparently but because I recently went to my storage locker in the Kootenays and brought a bunch of stuff back I was able to get this brand new pair of the exact same shoe that I bought when I bought those ones and this is the model of shoes I wore on the Pacific Crest Trail in 2018 and when I was getting ready to do another big hike in 2019, these were at that point an old model. So I bought two pairs for really cheap on Amazon. And then that summer's hikes um, didn't require the second pair. I just wore that first pair and then have just been beating them to oblivion ever since. And so I'm going to retire them. I'm going to throw them in the garbage. <sighs> which is hard to do because I'm painfully sentimental and those shoes have a lot of memories. And I'm going to replace them with a brand new pair of my favorite shoe that no longer exists. Um, this is the Ultra Lone Peak 3.5 and they are now on like the 7 or 8 or something. So the shoes changed quite a bit. Um, but yeah, it'll be nice to have a new pair of shoes for spring and summer hiking. Um, so yeah, this is something good. And I'm just like, yeah, that type of person that when I really like something, I will stockpile it if I can and just scroll it away. And yeah, I think now's the time. All right, hello. Um, it's been a bunch of days. I don't remember when the last time I filmed was. Probably like a week ago. I've been doing a horrible job at my job this winter and early spring. And I'm okay with that. Um, but to finish up this video, I have a little story time. Because I have a new fire extinguisher. And you might be wondering, Amanda, what happened to your other fire extinguisher? Well, I went to the island for Easter weekend. I spent four days over there with a friend, hanging out, going hiking, going slack landing in the park and one day we went rock climbing uh, we're old climbing partners and we went climbing where I actually first learned to climb outside like 16 years ago so it was pretty cool and we so we had like both of our packed backpacks full of like gear and ropes and all that stuff like sitting uh in my side entrance and I had noticed that morning that the elastic that held, that I used to hold the pin in the fire extinguisher had broke, the pin had come out, I put it back in and didn't put a backup on it. And so we were driving back to his place and I just hear a pshh and out of the corner of my eye, I see a plume of like smoke or something and I 
panicked. I thought it was bear spray. I was pulled over instantly. Get out of the van. Got like lifted Frank out because Frank was between the seats. Got him like over onto the grass. Um, and it was the fire extinguisher. It had gone off. The pin had come out on a bumpy road and my friend's backpack fell over, pushed down the lever and deployed the fire extinguisher inside my van. And it is, um, well, it's the exact same as this one. So it was uh, rated for A, B and C fire. So it was a chemical extinguisher, this like nasty yellow powder. Uh, I'm not exactly sure the composition, but I think they contain like a bunch of phosphorus chemicals. It smelled horrible. Yeah, it smelled really bad. It made quite a mess. But thankfully, the backpacks also blocked it from getting too far in here. Uh, but it was quite the cleanup endeavor at the gas station with the shop vac. And then wiping wipes to wipe everything down. Uh, and I used just, uh, I used actually baby wipes to wipe everything down because I didn't want to risk any sort of chemical interaction with the powder. Um, and that worked pretty well because they're basically just water wipes. And so, yeah, that sucked. That sucked so bad. And I did not take a single photo or film a single clip because, um... Yeah, I wasn't really like filming over the weekend and when that happened, like I just got like a rush of adrenaline because I thought it was the bear spray, which thankfully it wasn't. That would have been way worse um, and like way harder to clean up. Like I wouldn't have been able to sleep in my van that night if it had been the bear spray. So yeah, I just uh, just had an adrenaline rush, went into like a survival mode or something and just like had to execute cleanup immediately uh but the nice thing was that uh, when i did get back to my friend's house who i had dropped off um, at a grocery store nearby uh he had dinner ready soon after um and it was also stressful because like less than a half hour before the fire extinguisher went off in my van i broke a lens uh we had, we were walking down from the crag and um, I went to put my camera on like the strap backpack strap clip and I I guess I just thought it was in but it wasn't and I let go and it tumbled on the rock and broke the lens. Thankfully the camera's fine because the camera is much more expensive than that lens was but that said I used that lens a lot and that exact lens doesn't exist anymore based on my research. Uh, and I had been considering of upgrading it, but an upgrade is kind of expensive. So, um, yeah, not very fun, but, um, if you're interested in supporting my ongoing purchases of lenses, uh, consider joining Patreon because that is how I've been able to upgrade all my gear over the past almost three years as a YouTube creator, uh, how I have all these nice lenses and say like that's how, why I have this macro lens I use to take a whole bunch of different photos uh, when I went with my friend to Bush Art Gardens, which was really nice to see all the flowers. Um, and yeah, I had a really good time taking photos there, but of course there's like people talking and stuff, so I didn't take any video really. But yeah, it was just a really nice, you know, weekend in uh, Victoria. I lived in Victoria for eight years to go to university at the University of Victoria. And uh, yeah, it was nice to be back and do some just urban exploration and a bunch of walks at Royal Roads and check out the gardens there. And yeah, like I said, slack climbing and rock climbing. It felt really good to get back on the rock. I My goal was to go rock climbing and not get scared for it just to be fun and simple so my friend led I top roped um and I, I had a really good time I actually felt a little more in tune with it than I was expecting and that's good that's um that feels hopeful so yeah uh I have now about 40 hours until I depart Squamish to head north on a big adventure I am so excited for I'm so excited 
for the next uh, about two and a half months before I switch gears into a different type of adventure. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for coming along. It kind of covered like almost two weeks of my life since I got my hair cut. Uh, and I've just uh, been doing a lot behind the scenes to get the van ready, get myself ready, and uh, just spend some quality time with a bunch of different friends. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Consider joining Patreon because that is what allows me to do this as a career and it is why I keep making videos and why I enjoy making videos so much because I am somebody who really likes using nice gear. I find a lot of satisfaction in that both in videography and photography. So yes, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, and yeah, we'll see you soon. This is Frank waking up after his final post-surgery x-ray. The surgeon was really happy with how everything went. His bones healing well, the plate's doing well, and it was good to hear that the wound is not caused by the plate rubbing. The surgeon expects that his foot will heal. It's showing signs of wanting to heal. It's just gonna take time and patience for that wound to fully close over.